Hello and welcome to another Bushwhacker review. Today we are going to be taking a look at A.G. Allmendinger's Shell Pennzoil Dodge from 2012. Let's take a look at the box, get your typical generic Penske box from that year, just the gray checkered pattern and everything. There you have a render of the car, another render of the car, got the sample body on the back, and I made a total of 2,448 of these things, 2012, and copyright and such on the bottom. Here is the car itself, and is that scale paint scheme that everyone just loves so very much. This is probably the best way to get a Dodge version of it if you just want a clean, standard Dodge version because, you know, this was produced the next year, so it has all the accurate lights and everything, as you can see right there. But it also is A.J. Allmendinger, who didn't even last pretty much half a year in this car after he got kicked out right before the July Daytona race for failing a drug test, and Sam Hornish Jr. took over. But that doesn't mean the car is bad, because you know you still have, like I said, it does have all the accurate lights and everything. So if you really want all that, you definitely want to get this version of it, not Kurt Busch's. I mean, if you really want full accuracy, just go to Logano's, probably like 2015 or 2016 ones, but, you know. On the hood, you have Shell Pennzoil Dodge Charger number 22. Down the side, you have Shell Pennzoil. You've got Discount Tire and AAA and Snap-on and Dodge. On the seat post, you have Lennox and SKF. And the Beepos, you have SRT Mopar, PPG, Bosch, Mazak, Magellan, and Coca-Cola. On the back, you have Shell and Pennzoil and Dodge Charger. On the deck, you have Shell Pennzoil again. This is number 61. Got the same stuff down the other side as usual. Take a look under the hood. See that it says Shell Pennzoil. There's the engine detail if you want to see that. Take a look under the deck lid. You got your typical fuel cell and such back there. The roof flaps do in fact open. And there's the underside of the car if you want to see that. This is a painting we've taken a look at in many different forms at this point. We have taken a look at, you know, Kurt Busch's, Almendinger's, Logano's, but... Like I said, I like the paint scheme, and at this point I was trying to get every single one of them, just to, you know, have a cool set whenever it does die. Watch, it's still going on this year, so who knows what it's going to die, but it'll be cool to have, like, eight cars of the same paint scheme lined up to see all the changes and stuff. If it ever actually dies at the point that I'm still making videos, I will definitely do a video on that. If you want this car, it's not very easy to get. This is definitely one of the rarest ones, for some reason. I mean, it seems if you wait, it pops up for relatively cheap, but it's not. It doesn't pop up very often. But it's same with like Logano's. Like I said, for some reason, for as much as people hate this car, they make a lot of them. They disappear. So that should tell you something. I really don't. I think there's a lot of people that enjoy this car more than some of the people who hate this car will make you think. But I think that's pretty much all I have to say. This has been a review of A.G. Allmendinger's Shell Pennzoil Dodge from 2012. Hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.